I am so grateful for a pastor who gave our family some written declarations. Um, we just made copies of them so that we have some truth handy in our Bibles, handy in our car, and we can just declare them over ourselves. And I just wanted to share a little bit of that and how helpful it is to me. Please do not mind this wild mess. I am trying something different with my hair and it's a process. It's a whole different topic, not important to this video, but I could totally see where this would be a distraction. I could put a hat on. Could put a hat on. That might be better because, you know, we want to hear about Jesus, not about the process of getting curly hair um, to be healthy. Okay, so this is the declaration for this weekend. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, I am thankful that you have made provision for me so that today I can live full of the Spirit with love and joy and peace. Hallelujah, I need some peace. With long-suffering, gentleness, and goodness, with meekness, faithfulness, and self-control, somebody, this house needs self-control. I recognize that this is your will for me, and therefore I reject and resist all of the endeavors of Satan and his wicked spirits to rob me of the will of God. And I refuse this day to believe my feelings. I refuse today to believe my feelings. I hold up the shield of faith against all the accusations, the distortions, the insinuations that Satan is bringing into my mind, and I claim the fullness of the will of God for my life today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I completely surrender my life. Heavenly Father, I want to be a living sacrifice. I choose not to be conformed to this world. I choose to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. And I ask that you show me and enable me to walk in this fullness of your will for me today. That just changes my mood when I read that. You talk about helping bring my feelings to bow, my emotions my thoughts, my, uh, I love where it says the distortions, the distortions, accusations, insinuations. We are being bombarded. And if you read something like this, it doesn't have to be this, but something like this over and over, it's like helping lead your heart back to the power of the cross. It is like helping lead your kids' minds. You know, I say parts of that over my kids before they go to work today. Just wanting to encourage them like all day long, bring your heart and your mind and your feelings back Help them bow while you're asking the Holy Spirit's power to enable that bowing. Because don't we want victory? Don't we want victory? The only way life feels successful at the end of it, I mean, even in a 24-hour day, is when we know we've been victorious for the kingdom. And there's a war for our mind. There's a war for our feelings. And I would just encourage you to join me in that. And let's help each other not, not um, let our feelings run rampant so that we are living in constant confusion and chaos. Okay, bless you today. Hope you have time in the word and worship and have a happy worship day. Declare truth over yourself and let's be victorious.